Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. There are Trolls World Tour Lego sets. This is very, very cute. They, uh, this is the, this is the biggest set so far, and it's got these interesting pods, which are one big piece, which are the living quarters for the trolls. So I'm really curious to see how this new theme all pans out. And so these are the big living pods that are going to be hanging off our. Oh, sorry, this is <laughs> this is called the Pop Village Celebration. So I don't know quite what's going on here because it's got to do with the world tour. It's nice, looks psychedelic, <laughs> psychedelic stickers. We've got a couple of books that don't know what's going on in the story, like I said, but I do know that. This is Cooper, which is it's printing doesn't go all the way around, which is a bit sad, but he looks adorable. Look at his big goopy face. <laughs> so this is a new these are new designs. They're not mini figures, they're not mini dolls. They're what are they? Are they do we call them big figs or they're just they're just different. They're different and different is cool. I love how his hat fits over his ears and these are new. These are brand new, a new pack full of yellow accessories and there are music accessories in here which excites me so much. So we've got a quaver or a quarter note or an eighth note depending upon where you are in the world. We've got a treble clef which is also called a G clef. We've got some cupcake holders there which are, I've got a little stud on the top and some new flower accessories and like a mandolin. Looks like a mandolin, could be a banjo more. <laughs> Don't know quite what Poppy's gonna play there, but this flower is supposed to go into Cooper's hat. Isn't that cute? Doesn't he look so happy? <laughs> so happy. And who else have we got in the first set? We got some little mint colored legs, or are they aqua? And sparkly, this is sparkly. So this is Guy Diamond. He has got a sparkly shirt. He's got sparkles all over his face. And what does he, oh, he gets his, he gets proper troll hair white troll hair and there's a big cavity at the top where we can store stuff <laughs> which is such a cool design because that's what they do so he's going to get he's getting some of these new new sunglasses to put in his hair and he's keeping this purple egg in his hair to hatch and kind of falls over in there and gets a little bit stuck but he's keeping it in there and when it hatches I think that this is who comes out tiny diamond the tiniest little sparkliest troll you've ever seen he's really really cute and he can also be stored up here in guy diamond's hair so that will keep him safe <laughs> potentially out of trouble <laughs> but maybe not okay the first build of this set is not actually the big like cool tree thing we've got an like an, an extraneous external thing but any of that make any sense? A whole heap of words that I just put together that may not have made sense. But this is like a pram or a little car, a little tiny car. I'm choosing to think of it as a, as a jukebox pram for Tiny Diamond. It's just adorable and it's so bright and sunshiny and yellow. I love that. So let's see. So we've got these. This is where the wheels are going to go on. And what else? Oh, okay. Are these supposed to be at like different heights? Am I doing something wrong? Nope. The instructions say this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. So wheels can go on. And when this goes on, it just means that his little, his little, yeah, look at that way. It, it tips backwards, which is fine. And this here is, <laughs> it's got play buttons and for, oh, that's so cute. And it says tiny, his license place says tiny. And the first of the musical notes go up here on the back and he gets the treble clef on the other side to match them up. <laughs> that's really so, <laughs> this is gonna cause so much mischief in that. That is really, really cute. Now we get to see these enormous pods, which is where each of them are gonna be living. And we need to use these new leaf pieces to plug them together. And oh, we'll, we'll find out how we put the other side together in a minute. But first up, we need to we need to fit this out with all the things it needs to have. So we've got a diamond on the top because this is going to belong to Guy Diamond and possibly Tiny Diamond because they have to live together. This is cute. This way we will know whose pod it belongs to from the outside, even when it's all shut. And this is a disco ball. <laughs> so it goes on the top of the other side of the pod. And these pieces here that we've seen just recently in the little cubes, in the Lego Friends, the cubes are designed to plug back into this. And you can also pull them out again so you can play with all the things that you've plugged in before. I don't know what we're building here. It looks kind of fancy. <laughs> well, I suppose it is in Guy Diamond's pod, so that makes sense. It looks like we are building a throne. <laughs> there are diamonds on the back here of the throne. <sighs> And I just love the shiny, shiny stickers. All right, so this throne is 
it's designed to go up here it's very very narrow can we fit no that's not for you i think that this is actually for tiny diamond he has his own throne he's going to be a tiny dictator <laughs> this goes on the other side so this is going to be plugged in on the other side and then when we shut it it should all fit nicely in together so what else are the diamond family going to have in their little pod we've got a brush to keep guy diamond's hair beautiful and oh it's a, it's a hair dryer <laughs> and a hair dryer and there are hooks there so we're going to make something here that's going to hinge on looks like it might be a bed there's no there's no actual sticker to put on the bed which is surprising. I don't know why that surprises me, but there isn't. There we go. We've got a bed. Oh, look at that. It is all equipped for the little diamond family. And when you want to close it, you just tip that up and you use one of these little leaf pieces to plug it in. And they're really easy to get in and out. So it's you can open and shut it whenever you want. That's perfect. Okay, we've got a purple one as well. I don't know. Let's find out who this one belongs to. Is there a bit of a hint on the top? There's a little diamond on the top too. So it's a, but it's a pink diamond. Is this for Poppy? There's a star up here. I don't know. There's another, another little pink one on this side with a flower. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that this is for Poppy because Poppy has a pod that's sold separately, so I'm going to assume that that pod can be added on to this set. So if this isn't for Poppy, who we'll, we'll meet later in here, uh, this has got a jukebox in it, so who might it be for? I'm going to guess it's a skateboard, so I'm going to guess it's for Cooper because he came in this bag and this build is part of this bag and we've already got one for, for the Diamond family, so this one's going to be for Cooper. Okay, let's see. We've got a jukebox and a skateboard on one side of his little purple pod. And this is either a little seat or maybe, well, he's not really going to be able to lie down very easily. Is that a gold, some gold hair accessories or like little decorations for the top. <laughs> some hats. So he's got a gold hat and he's got a gold crown and it, we can just interchange them however we want. Let's put the flower back on there because that's how he goes. And he does fit just perfectly in there. It's his pod. It's Cooper's cute little pod. All right. I am very curious to see how these pods go with the actual build. But the second bag holds two very important characters. The first one is Poppy looking so cute, ready to head off on her, well, tour. She looks really happy, which is really surprising because she's never happy. <laughs> it was sarcasm, by the way. Her hairpiece is awesome, and she gets a flower for her crown, but you can interchange that into whatever you want that fits in, this, in that little, little slot up there. She's also got whatever this musical instrument is. I think it's supposed to be a ukulele, because that's what she plays in the first movie, but I, it looks like a mandolin to me. And we can put a cupcake up on her top of her hair. <laughs> we can have so much fun chopping and changing what they actually have in their hair and on their hair. Now, this has also got one more character. I know that you have already figured out who this is. It's Branch looking teal and gorgeous. And he's got his massively trolly purple hair. And once again, we've got places to store stuff in the top. And something, we'll put something in that little hole here. Maybe a love heart. I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Might take that out. We'll find something for there later to decorate his hair. Right. What are we building now? Tell me that we are getting on with actually building their little village because it looks so cute in the picture and I just want to see how it all goes together. Please go away. That's so polite. <laughs> okay, this goes here on, well, I don't know whether that's the back or the front, but it goes over here. Got a teal colored, or oh, dark turquoise colored branch now. This is just going to be a cacophony of color, which is fantastic because that's what it should look like for a troll set for the trolls color scheme. But it's so, so bright. It just makes me so cheerful and happy to build it. Got a little ladder here on the side. Don't know quite what they're climbing up to yet, but of course there's a slide because of course. <laughs> All right, this is coming together. We've got a nice big grassy area here. We're adding some big purple, <laughs> purple outcrop here. Oh my goodness, it's a feast for the eyes. <laughs> We're building it up. Actually, this is this is surprisingly, there is a surprising amount of pieces in this set. I was, yeah, I, I'm surprised by the building techniques that go in here because I thought this was kind of aimed more at younger builders, but I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge for younger builders. So 
especially when we get to things like this, or maybe it's just a challenge for me, when you have to think about the orientation of these quarter pie pieces, and that makes a cute little, a, a little windmilly thing, or a little daisy, but if you put it on the wrong way, in the wrong direction, like I often do, because I am directionally challenged, even, even after all these years of following instructions and lego i still suffer from not being able to tell which direction things are facing so this using all these little curved flat pieces makes a fantastic flower a flower up here for a performance area i think and we've got more of these quarter pie pieces i really need to concentrate on making sure that they go in and they're oh look we got coral pieces now alternating with the pink pieces that's so pretty! A pinwheel, that's what I was looking for before. It's a pinwheel pattern. <laughs> Look at the cute little face. Okay, this is colourful and crazy and I love it. So we're going to put a nice big arch up here and see, it's a little stage for Poppy to perform on. We've got some hanging gourd things here on the sticker. On the big, big teal curved wall pieces. That's nice. So we put another one on the other side but it doesn't have any stickers on it. And we're building up here. This is not symmetrical. We've got a hook out here. Mm, interesting. And some green on the back. And now we're heading up to the next level. So this level down here is her performance stage. There's room around the back to add some more stuff. So let's see what goes in there. We're up to bag number three. We are working on the second level. We're going to put that other set of hanging gourd seed potty kind of things here. And then we have that closes up the area very nicely. I wonder if this is living quarters up here, up in the tree. Look at that pink lightning strike. That is so awesome. <laughs> so many colors and textures. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, okay, we've got an outward facing jumper plate there, which is interesting. And there's a lot of interesting things going on. Now, they've got, we've got technique pieces on this, which, like I said, this is just a bit more complex than I expected it to be. We've got orange, an orange hook sticking out of there. And this goes on here. Oh, I just realized why we need technique pieces for strength to hold those pods on. Yeah, so that's for our nice big strong branches because those pods are, well, they're not heavy, but they're, they're heavy if we haven't constructed this well. Some nice vegetation hanging down up here. And now we've got, yeah, okay. I think I've got that hinge on the right way round and a bit another one on the top to secure it. And this goes up on top of here. Oh, this is looking nice and strong. Nice and strong, we put the lid on, or the roof on, and right up here on the top, oh, okay, we've got waggly purple things. <laughs> purple, so purple vines, which are getting plugged in here, up here and down to the sides. And we can pull these out if the trolls want to just hang from them, or maybe they're the electricity to the pods. <laughs> I'll have to try that out later, see if we can plug them into the pods. This is really, really cool. A nice branch out here. Looks like, yeah, we're going to be hanging the pods from these. They just look, they look kind of spindly though to be able to hold the pods. But because I know we got these technique pieces in there, it should all be lovely and strong. Some purple foliage and some green claws going into them. Green, what am I saying? Orange claws going into them. So we're going to be hanging things off these. This one's different to the other ones. So this one goes up here on this hook and this one goes over here and you can angle them so prettily. This one goes, plugs in up there. <laughs> Look at that purple foliage. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh. All right. And down here on the performance stage, we have got a microphone, a pink microphone and a black microphone stand. And Poppy is totally ready to rock them all. And on this outward facing stud, we are putting a <gasps> look at these felt pieces. All right. <laughs> so these are going to add different texture, a nice big shape, nice and easy. We just plug them on there and then we use this little face. It's a happy flower. <laughs> this is spectacular. This is going to be the most fun play set to play with. All right. Once again, more technique pieces. I'm going to concentrate, make sure I'm putting them in the right place. And this enormous aqua coloured circle has got the sun, the big goofy sun up here. And on the other side, we got the rainbow. So we can spin it and decide whether we want goofy sun happiness or rainbow happiness. <laughs> oh, look at that. 
<laughs> so we're going to take this up and install it uh, there. And it just sits so beautifully on the top. And you can spin it. Decide which one you want it to be. <laughs> wow. Okay. We are working on the back now. We've got a couple of little jumper studs there. Let's see what we are going to be putting on the back. We've got... It's like a little flower, well I was going to say a spider, but it looks like we're going to have six legs. Is it supposed to be a flower spider or a flower bug? He's so cute! He doesn't look menacing at all. He's still adorable. Look, he can do the can-can. <laughs> well, he's supposed to be up here. So he hangs out up here in this little crevice. And we, oh, he's a spider, oh, definitely a spider. Got a spider web there, though he looks far too happy and cute to be a spider. <laughs> and down here, let me see what we are installing down the bottom. This must be something, this has got to be something for Branch. So let's see, we've got some, oh, hold on, is it another, is it another character? There are arms. He's got arms. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a stove, it's a stove. There we go. So we've got <laughs> a stove that Branch can cook at and we can put one of the cupcake pieces up here. I love the fact that we can actually hold things in them now. What's cooking in the pot? Something purple and bubbly and we can put together another cupcake here that's just kind of floating around and in the hands holding a spoon <laughs> and a pan and the other one and this one this is going to be installed behind the stage. And we can pop that in and out. And let's use this to go up in Poppy's hair. She can have a cupcake up in her hair. And <laughs> we'll replace that one because we got extra pieces. So Branch can now, he can keep the purple goop up in his hair if he wants to. <laughs> and we might find a pair of, oh, maybe that one. Yeah. Let's find a pair of sunglasses to put on him because that, that'll work a little bit better. Okay. So let's see how these pods actually go together on our tree so this one's supposed to according to the instructions hang here and you can oh you can swing it around to the back or the front <laughs> I'm just gonna put Cooper up here which might make it a little off balance between us rainbow time at the top let's put the diamond pod uh, let's put it back together again close it all up that's so neat and tidy and it just hangs off the front so this one doesn't actually swing around but the purple one can go to the front or the back depending upon whether you want to get it out of the way and you can of course just take it off at, yeah, you can't hang it like that you can take it off at any stage and set it up wherever you like and you can plug it into the tree plug it in over here <laughs> and now we got tree electricity tree electricity and i don't want to lose that leaf piece because without it i'm not gonna be able to actually close this pot up again <laughs> and it does not come with a spare okay this is a very very cute set there are more troll sets i I, I am looking forward to investigating them so now is the time to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will be back with a new video very very soon so I will see you then <laughs> bye